Hey YouTube, uh, so I'm back with the uh, John Deere Gator 825i. Uh, I got this box in from Amazon. Uh, we're going to be going over some maintenance work, uh, changing oil, oil filter, uh, fuel filter, and an uh, air filter, I believe. Um, so come along with me. Let's do this maintenance. Uh, let's dig into this box, see what's in it first, and then uh, start digging in and uh, seeing what we can get done tonight. So I got this box off of Amazon. Um, I will, I'll, I'll put a link in my uh, description down below. You guys can go to and click on that link, check it out, and get this for yourself if you're changing your oil on your uh, John Deere uh, Gator 825i. And uh, let's dig into this thing and see what, what, what's in here. I actually haven't done this before, um, so this is gonna be new to me as it is with you guys, but uh, um, just first thing open in the box, you got, uh, your John Deere um, 10W30 uh, oil, your uh, four-cylinder engine oil, and we've got those. Uh, you got an air filter. Oh, spark plug. I didn't say that earlier, but there's a spark plug in here. We'll see where that's at and change that as well while we're at it. Oil filter. Another spark plug and the fuel filter. So uh, let's take a look, see where these things are at. Like I said, I haven't done this. Um, I, I maybe watched one short video on uh, changing the oil. So I do know we do have to back up on the ramps to get the back side up so the oil will drain. But, uh, but yeah, let's get that done. Since I'm using this workbench, all this stuff here is uh, the teeth for the front of our hay bind or conditioner, if some people call it. And um, all this this front uh, bars on the front, we took all, every single one of them off and we're gonna change out those teeth and that helps the hay go through the bind. But that's another video. I will, uh, I'll show you guys that at some point, but I'm using this workbench. It's kind of uh, taken over by all this, uh, um, all this hardware for that hay bind, but uh, it could stay there, it's not gonna be in our way too much, I don't think. All right, let's lift the back of this thing up and see what, uh, what we're working with. Yeah, might have had a little bit of junk back there. Some sticks and stuff from the previous storms. I know a whole bunch of people got uh, smacked with a whole bunch of storms, especially north and south of us. But uh, we didn't get too bad. We were pretty fortunate, I guess. All right, so just opening this thing up and taking a look at it um, from up above. Uh, we just lifted up the, the, uh, the bed uh, right up the bat. I could see right inside here is the fuel filter uh, looks like there's a couple uh, clips in there we can pop out and uh, that should come right out and we'll change that out um, obviously here's your dipstick for your oil oil here um, not sure where the spark plugs are might have to take a look at that but um, and then this is your air your air filter here um, that should be a quick, easy one. Just pop those out and then let's go underneath and see what we got to do under here. Oh boy. Let's see. Right there is the fuel filter. That shouldn't be too bad. And I'm guessing up under here, here's their oil pan. So there should be a bolt underneath there. I'm thinking right here in this uh, this hole here, there's a bolt that should be for your uh, oil pan to drain it. So we can start there. We'll, we'll get that guy out of there, start draining it, and uh, go from there. Okay, so I had to do some research on the spark plugs. I actually got to take this plate, which looks like there's a couple screws missing. Uh, we got to take these screws off and take this plate off, and the spark plug should be right underneath there. Um, uh, one big reason why this thing is so dirty, <laughs> I say I need to clean it and I haven't done it yet. 
but uh, I ended up buying this thing at an auction for pretty cheap. Uh, that's why I'm going over all the maintenance, putting special things on there, put a windshield, the winch, and everything on the front. But uh, yeah, we got it for a decent price, and but you know we have to work on it. As you can tell, there's some things missing, but that's what you get for getting stuff at an auction. All right, so we're gonna get this uh, this bolt out of here, this plug. Uh, this is a nine sixteenths um, socket. Let's get that out of there. Oh yeah, that's pretty black. It definitely needed an oil change. All right, so while that's draining, uh, let's take this plate off and check these spark plugs out, see where they're at. You know, there's only three of these uh, screws in here. And there's supposed to be six of them total. Let's get those out of there. And get this cap off. And, yeah, that should come right off there. Oh, looks like there's three spark plugs. Why would they only give me two? I guess that was a, a good sign. These are your spark plug uh, wires. Uh, I could have just followed those back and that would have to definitely told me where the, uh, where the spark plugs would have been. Well, these things are a booger to get out. There we go. All right, so I guess since the, uh, the kit only gave me two spark plugs, we're gonna pick two of them and then we'll pick up another spark plug later. To change out this is a 5 8 uh, socket uh, it's actually a spark plug socket it comes uh, with most of your your socket sets or anything but it uh, oh yeah uh, it just has a rubber piece on the inside that helps get uh, the spark plug once it gets loose inside there to be able to pull it out all right there's one And there's two. Yeah, those definitely need to be changed as well. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we're just gonna replace these two. I'll pick up another uh, spark plug at the uh, auto parts store or on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a uh, description or down in the description. I will put links to you can buy these individually or uh, all this stuff. And if you guys just click on those links, you can go straight to Amazon and get your stuff It's shipped right to your door. It's pretty convenient, actually. I think uh, this this kit was like 80 something bucks. All right, there's uh, two out of the three. I'm going to put these wires back in. Make sure those get sucked up on there. I hear a little pop. Means they're pretty good. Yep. So somebody had done this before. You could see these marks. There's one, two, and three. Um, this one goes to that spark plug. This one goes to the middle, and this one goes to the third. Uh, that's probably a pretty good idea. Uh, I just caught onto that, but uh, that way your wires don't get mixed up and they. Uh, go to the right plug so let's put this cap back on this guy and then uh, continue working on the oil
All right, now those spark plugs are done, let's go back under here. We'll take a look. Oh, I dripped some on the concrete. That's okay. Let's uh, somewhat clean this up, put the plug back in, and then we'll go over and change the filter. All right, so right inside there, right there, is the fuel filter. So I've got this uh, fuel filter tool. Uh, you can get these on Amazon too. I can find one, put a link to it. It'll be in the description as well. Uh, you just put that on there, twist it off, and it looks like it's probably gonna make a mess. And then we'll get the new one in there. And there's a little a little hole down there that the oil goes through. It actually is not making as bad as mess as I thought it was going to. The old filter's out. I'm gonna grab the new one. We'll put that one in. I'm sure you know this, but most every time you put a filter in, you want to lubricate the uh, the ring. It just makes it uh, get a better seal. I just get the old oil that's in there. Just put a little dab on my finger and put it on there. And it's good to go back on. That's done. Um, while I'm right here, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, air filter, which is right here. Just a couple little clips. This cap should come off. And it's right there. That guy is filthy. Definitely. I'll grab the new one and put it in there too. Looks like uh, there's a solid end and an end that has a gap or a hole. So obviously that slides in there. And then your cap goes right on top. <clears throat> One thing I also noticed with this, it says top. So, I think that goes up. Mm, that's not good for it. Okay, so my pan actually has a little less than two quarts uh, in it. So, I'm going to put two quarts in. Uh, we'll check the dipstick and see where we're at. And uh, I have three quarts. It came with three quarts, so we'll see uh, what it needs. I guess before I put the oil in, I'm gonna check the dipstick anyways. I guess with it being springtime, uh, we're gonna be going over a lot of maintenance on all of our equipment, uh, making sure all the oil is good on the tractors, uh, like I said, the conditioner back here, it has all its teeth off on the uh, the front bars. So um, stay tuned, subscribe. That way uh, you guys can see what we're up to, uh, whether it be the, the fencing project or maintenance on, all, on the equipment. It's always interesting stuff to do. We enjoy making the videos. But uh, anyways, that's, that's two quarts there. I'm gonna check the dipstick, see where we're at. And the dipstick showing that that is on the full line. So I'm going to stay with two quarts and keep that third quart uh, in the garage. So if this thing leaks any, 
we are able to fill it up when we need to or top it off. Come with three quarts, but it didn't come with three spark plugs. I'm not really happy about that. But it's not like they're really hard to take out. Put the cap back on. And I guess now what we need to do is look at this fuel filter, see how it comes off and uh, get that changed out and we'll be done here. Hi, Huey. 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 No? Okay. Kind of just look like they're little clips. Oh yeah. You're gonna get uh, gas everywhere whenever you guys do this, but I did find out on the back side of these, there's a little clip and you take a little screwdriver and go pop, pop. And it comes out this side and then it just pulls apart. So let me get this other side, which is a little tighter, of course. There's the fuel filter. I'm gonna go get the new one. There's an arrow on the very top of it that says flow. I'm just gonna put it in the same way that the last one was in. Um, assuming the flow goes that way. It should just pop right in there, which it did. And then put your clip back in to hold it in place. It seems pretty simple enough. I don't want to smell like gasoline the rest of the night. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. Old Bailey dog supervising again. She does a pretty good job at that, don't you, dog? Yeah, I smell a little bit like gasoline. I don't want to rub you. I'm going to get all over the house. Thanks, bud. Well, um, I got the oil changed, uh, oil filter, fuel filter, spark plugs, and air filter changed out on the uh, John Deere Gator 825. Uh, like I said, the links are in the description below. I'll put a few different links on. You can get individual, especially since this uh, kit did not come with three spark plugs. It only came with two. And uh, you guys will be able to uh, click on those links and go to Amazon and get them yourself But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. This is kind of just a how-to uh, uh, Maintenance video there's gonna be quite a bit of these since we have a lot of equipment here on the farm, but I appreciate you guys watching uh, Make sure you guys hit that like uh, Button that thumbs up whatever it is and then uh, make sure you definitely subscribe to the channel That way you guys can see what we've got going on. I Appreciate you guys watching until next time. Thanks